Welcome back, everybody, to the North Tonawanda Football Hall of Fame YouTube channel. Got another great interview coming up right now with the former NT Jacks from Western Maryland. Gives me great pleasure to introduce fullback, linebacker, NT player extraordinaire, Paul Crane. Welcome, Paul. How are you today? Great. It's an honor to be here. Thank you so much for asking me to be here. I appreciate it. Very nice to meet you. We've never met before. Hey, in your honor, I am wearing a uh, this blue shirt. It's got Maryland crabs on it. So, I mean, I, I, I know you're located in, in Western Maryland, so I just want to make you feel at home. Crab cakes and football is what we do down here now. <laughs> Terrific. You played 98, 99, 2000 yes. for North Tonawanda. So you played two years for Dave Anastasi. Yes. Eric Jancy was your offensive coordinator. And then when Mr. Anastasi retired, uh, Jancy took over the program. Describe those years regarding, uh, especially playing your first year sophomore, going playing on varsity. Yeah, so uh, when I think back, um, actually freshman year, playing freshman year uh, with under Coach Tom, I remember the last game of the year, uh, Coach Tom came up to me and said, Hey, Coach Anastasi is here to watch you play today, and I was like, just kind of blown away by that fact. And then uh, later in the school year, uh, in the next semester, all of a sudden, I'm in uh, Coach Anastasi's study hall, and I was, I was like, well, okay, this is kind of interesting. And then uh, Coach Anastasi asked me to play varsity the next season. Like that was like a huge moment in uh, my football playing career there at NT. Do you think it was a coincidence that you had Coach Anastasi for uh, for study hall? Not for one minute. <laughs> How describe your relationship with Coach Anastasi and, and uh, those two years? Um, you know, it was it was great. Uh, Coach A was he was so nice to us, and uh, he treated all of us with respect and taught us taught us a lot about the game and uh, about life and. Uh, um, it, it was awesome. Awesome time in my life for sure. Do you take some of those things of his teachings, uh, and apply it to your life to, uh, today? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the whole, the whole pro program, the whole time I was there with, uh, coach A and coach Jancy, uh, a lot of these lessons I learned through football apply to me today, uh, apply to me to my career now and, and, and pushing through the hard stuff and, uh, working hard and, um, yeah, I would de definitely say that. Coach Jancy took over in, in 2000. Uh, he set up players to success, from what I've been told. Uh, certain players and their attributes got, got certain plays, and they were put into certain situations. Um, what was your situation, and what did uh, Coach Jancy uh, – how was your success measured through Coach Jancy? Um, yeah, a lot of my success, uh, he was, you know, he was the offensive coordinator. So I worked with him a lot, even when coach Anastasi was there, um, they worked on, on me to be, become a better blocker. I wasn't at first, I wasn't great at doing it. It wasn't, you know, at first it wasn't something I liked when, you know, freshman year and prior to that, I was the tailback. So I got the ball all the time, but, uh, with Jeff Gain being there, I'm not, I wasn't going to be the tailback. Uh, Eric Sorich being there, not going to be the tailback. So I had to learn and adapt, and, and they helped me uh, become a better fullback and, and blocking back. And um, it, it helped. I had, I think I had some speed back then to, to help me uh, with that. And it, yeah, they helped. His offense helped us uh, succeed, I think. Our, I think a lot of teams were afraid of our offense for sure. You also played linebacker on defense and were quite the thumper. Did you prefer defense over offense? Honestly, I loved them both. I, uh, I don't think I could choose one or the other. I, I loved being on the field all the time. That was, that was so much fun. Um, when I was playing linebacker too, they, uh, there was often times where they put me at nose tackle. And I think playing nose tackle was, was so much fun. Cause, uh, I think I was uh, stronger and faster than the, you know, the bigger linemen. So I would uh, kind of make a mess of things for uh, the defense or would try to, and, you know, have uh, Eric Zorch try to come down and make the nice, easy tackle for him, make him look pretty on tape. 
Oh, okay. So you you were you did all the dirty work for Zorich. Is that what yeah. you're trying to say? Yep. Of course. All right. Perfect. Um, talk about the three TNT games that you participated in. What memories might you have from them? Uh, I think the first memories that jump out are the the two losses. Probably one of the few teams in recent memory that have two losses to Tonawanda. So uh, that part kind of stinks. But the the game itself and the the atmosphere of the game is just. I mean, I can't even put into words, you know, having thousands of fans, uh, not being able to hear the whistle because it's so loud in the stands. Uh, everyone in the, you know, both cities being at the game and, and people from other cities, you know, I'm, uh, well, I went, you know, go, even going to college, uh, you know, other players would talk about, they would go to the game because it was just such a big event. Um, so it was, you know, it was great. And then the school, like a whole week build up to it was so much fun. Uh, it, it was great times. You also, those games were also televised by Time Warner at that point too. Yes. Um, did that add any type of pressure that you knew that you were going to be on TV and, and uh, um, you want to do your best? No, I want to do our best because it was, it was TNT. Uh, we wanted to show everyone that we were, we were the best, but uh, like I said, a couple of times we fell short Um the, I mean, there was definitely, you felt this pressure to, to do your best. And the, the game was so much more intense than other football games uh, through the, through the season there. It um, definitely just big time intensity playing those games and uh, a lot chippier too. A lot of trash talking on the field as well. Of course. Yeah. Trash talk and, you know, a little bit later hits than normal and it was all part of the, all part of the fun. Part of the tradition. Um, getting back to tradition, uh, growing up and, and going through the North Tonawanda football program, were you aware of the rich antique tradition? Um, yeah, I would, I would say so. I remember, you know, growing up and, and going to games at Vetter Stadium um, and watching, you know, watching those guys play and, you know, like, I want to do that one day and then coming through the program and uh, the hall of fame being so involved with, uh, with the program, uh, providing, uh, you know, the spaghetti dinners uh, night before the game. And, and I think there was even a time where they were doing like pancake din uh, breakfasts before Saturday games um, at one o'clock. Um, so just being able to see all the history and, and, you know, a lot of the, the, players you know had family members so learning about all the history growing up with uh hanging out with them and you know it's like a kind of like a family atmosphere i would say for sure like growing up in in the you know the football realm of north tonawanda what type of stories might you want to share with us that uh, funny instances or uh being in the trenches with your, your fellow players that you'd like to share with us right now oh Man, let's see. Uh, so I can recall an instance in uh, um, a scrimmage with uh, you know, we do the four way scrimmage with other teams, and uh, it was getting pretty pretty chippy out there. And um, you know, I, I thought I was pretty strong, and you know, we're at the weight room all the time, and and then uh, Coach Jancy just in this moment showing me how much stronger he was than I when uh, it was getting chippy and kind of going back and forth with some other players. And, and he just came in and I think he grabbed me by the back of my shoulder pads and just lifted me up and got me out of there. So uh, nothing worse would happen. Uh, just, I, I thought that was kind of funny um, and a kind of a cool story. Four team scrimmages. It was something new at that point or how did that work out or what were some of the advantages of having a four team scrimmage? Um, I don't know if it was new. I, I, I can't recall when they started doing that, but uh, I, I think it was kind of a neat, uh, neat thing. We, I remember we hosted it at uh, NT and, you know, or er, earlier in the, you know, 10 or 11, I think is when we started and, you know, you, you go, go to the field and it's still got dew on the field and there's hot dogs going with the, uh, you know, all the people volunteering to make food for all of us for after the, the scrimmage with uh, all the teams. Um, it, I mean, you got to see a whole bunch of different teams. Uh, and some of the teams I think we played and some we didn't play during the season. So it was, it was 
it was kind of neat to to get that experience to play you know more than just one team uh sometimes when you're scrimmaging a team over and over again it gets a little uh gets a little old so this gives you a little uh competitive juices going almost the whole time so it was kind of fun so all these all these other teams had the same benefit as well too of, of scrimmaging three other opponents as opposed to uh going one week and then scheduling another one and scheduling another one and scheduling another one he just had everybody all in one area so to speak yeah yeah it was great after high school you went over to play at canisius college had a pretty good career for two years there until the program canceled yes yeah. um talk about your canisius days oh it, it was uh when it was there it was it was great uh i got to play there with uh Mark Knockreiner was was there uh, when I was a freshman, and Jeremy Stanzik was there, and got to play with uh, Eric Zorch, my good buddy, and uh, it, it was it was fun. I loved it. I loved every moment of playing. Uh, and uh, you know, when they canceled the program, that was that was brutal. That was rough. Uh, that was a that was a hard pill to swallow for sure. Afterwards, did you look for other schools that you might want to play at to finish your career, or how did that how did that play out? Yeah, I uh, we were I was recruited again, which was a strange thing, and uh, by other schools, and 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 went back out and looked at other schools and visited other schools, but uh, ultimately I, I chose to finish my education and um, you know uh, go on my uh, career path. So. Uh, you know, I met my wife too, my senior year of college. So, I uh, no regrets on that. Was it difficult for you to hang up the spikes and, and take off the helmet? It was absolutely difficult. Uh, I just, not a year that goes by when football starts back up that I don't think about it and joke that I got two more years of eligibility. And, and that's all right. Have you been involved at all with any high school football? since your playing days? Uh, unfortunately, I haven't. Uh, my career kind of makes it uh, difficult to be involved. Uh, the times that I work are kind of all over the place. Uh, well, being a, being a detective, yeah. you're called, you're on a call 24 hours a day. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Yep. So it, uh, it makes it hard to be involved. I wouldn't, I could, I wouldn't be able to be consistent with uh, being able to do any coaching. I would love to, um, you know, maybe after my career here, I can do that, but yeah. If you met somebody off the street or, or we're talking uh, with a friend or, or, or an associate, they got talking about high school football, what would you tell them about your playing days and playing for North Tonawanda? I would tell them, uh, you know, my playing days and in high school were absolutely awesome. And, and you know, the, the program kind of helped shaped me into who I am now. Um, it kind of, you know, gave me direction and, and focus. Um, I'm not sure what I would have done if it wasn't for football. I don't know uh, if college would have been a goal of mine if it wasn't for football. Like, you know, I, I, I don't know that I was looking uh, outside of football to go to college if, and, you know, so it kind of gave me this direction and this focus to, to work hard at this and kind of get me to that next level in college. Um, so I, I feel like uh, NT football gave me a, a lot. And I, so I guess I would say uh, NT football was amazing for me uh, in my life and in my life. Who do you keep in contact with from your playing days? Oh, a bunch of guys, uh, Eric Zorch and Joe Scalise, uh, Mike Moreno I talked to. And uh, I mean, there's so many. Um, and obviously social media, you know, I'm able to keep, keep up with a, a bunch of the guys too. And every once in a while I get back in town and bump into a, a few guys too, which is always great. Do you have any regrets about your high school career or your college career? Uh, regrets about high school. I would say not, not playing in a, a playoff game, not making it to rich stadium or whatever they call it stadium now uh not being able to play in that playoff game uh is definitely a regret uh but other than that i, I have no regrets with uh with high school there with uh the effort that we put in um i felt like 
you know, he tried, uh, and I, I put as much effort in as I could. I didn't, and, you know, left everything on the field at that time. Um, We've talked about different subjects right now. Um, what would you like to add on something that I may not have asked you about or something you'd, you'd like to talk about or better yet, get off your chest? Yeah, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, a fun story for me was uh, junior year against uh, Hamburg. I remember, uh, you know, we're stretching and, you know, the coaches are coming around and, you know, I, I told Jancy, I'm, I told him I'm scoring two touchdowns today and he laughed and, and I ended up scoring uh, three, two on offense and one on defense. Uh, I mean, that was just a fun game overall. I think we won 42, nothing. So it was fun, high scoring and, and great defense that game. And, so I guess that was a fun story I'd like to share. Any other stories that you have that you'd like to share? Uh, there's a million stories, I'm sure, and I can keep you here all day. <laughs> um, uh, I guess, uh, so we did a lot of stuff with the, in the weight room. Uh, we worked hard, hard in there. And um, I just, I, I guess I want to add that uh, all the, the coaches that were there, uh, Coach Anastasi and Coach Jancy, um, you know, and every, all the other coaches, they, they gave up a lot of their time to, to work with us and teach us and kind of help mold us uh, become, you know, good members of society. And I think I look back and a lot of the guys I, I know on the team are, you know, are, you know, doing really good stuff in their life. And I, I think, you know, football has helped kind of shape them into doing, doing that and being good. And so just the coaches being who they were and teaching us and, um, kind of making us, I guess, a family back then. It's, it's, uh, just, it was pretty cool. It's been about 20 years since you played. Um, coming up on age 40, what would you tell today's players? What words of advice would you give today's players about North Tonawanda football? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a hard thing to do right. It's just work hard. Uh, listen to your coaches um, and just like enjoy that time that you have because it, it, it doesn't last forever. Uh, eventually there's an end to it. But if you, if you work hard, put the time in, um, you know, don't play video games all the time with your, your friends, but you know, if you're working at uh, your craft, you can, uh, it, it can help you um, to help me get into to college. And I, I would probably not have gotten into college if it wasn't for football. Um, so, you know, just hard work pays off. Absolutely. Paul Crane, I want to thank you so much for joining me here today from your, your home in Western Maryland. I wish you well. I wish you good health. And thanks for being with me today on the North Tonawanda Football Hall of Fame YouTube channel. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.